Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Ruston, Louisiana. It's a gorgeous Saturday afternoon for college football as the Middle Tennessee State University Blue Raiders take on the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs in Conference USA action. We bring you inside Joe I.A. Stadium with blue skies overhead. I'm Lynn Rollins. A pleasure to be working again with Chris Mikoski. Chris, it's been a teeter-totter season for both of these teams. Middle Tennessee went to Miami and pulled off a stunning upset earlier in the year, but since then, it's had trouble in Conference USA play. For Louisiana Tech, a pair of heartbreaking back-to-back -back losses. Well, Louisiana Tech lost its last two in overtime fashion. That leaves both of these teams at one and three in Conference USA. Now it's about positioning for bowls. Middle Tennessee is two wins away from that magic number of six. Louisiana Tech, though, has to win out to have a chance at the postseason. There's a developing story at quarterback for Middle Tennessee in Chase Cunningham. He's come to Middle Tennessee from, quote, meager beginnings. Since then, he has really blossomed, but he's had to overcome some injuries. The former walk-on is a comeback player of the year candidate coming off a torn ACL that he suffered last season. He's returned stronger than ever. Over 2,000 yards passing. In the last five games, he's averaging nearly 300 yards per contest. All season long, Louisiana Tech has tried to establish an effective running game with mixed results. However, last week, Marquise Crosby, the freshman, came through with a big effort. Two touchdowns on 115 yards versus Florida International. Second time this year that he's been over the century mark. Young player with every down back ability, playing with a lot of confidence right now. Well, let's bring in the third member of our broadcast crew tonight. We go down on the field with Madison Kaufman with more on today's matchup. Madison? Thanks, guys. Today promises to be a battle between two turnover machines. Both teams enter ranked 14th nationally with 16 turnovers game. We'll certainly have to see who comes out on top after this. Middle Tennessee won the toss. It will defer its decision until the third quarter. Louisiana Tech in red and white. Middle Tennessee in white and blue. And Middle Tennessee will be kicking off toward the south end zone. And this one is booted toward Smoke Harris. He will start from the goal line. Harris running toward the hash mark, finds a bit of a schism, gets to the 20 and maybe the 23 before he's gang tackled. But a 23-yard return or so for Smoke Harris. And Chris, Louisiana Tech this year on occasion has played really nifty first quarter football. We'll see if they can do that again. They've not been able to hold on to some leads. Parker McNeil will get the start after missing last week. Landry Liddy was the starter, the true freshman against Florida International. First and ten with Marquise Crosby in the backfield coming off his second 100 yard performance this season. McNeil out of Austin, Texas will throw on first down and that's dropped by Smoke Harris. He's had a problem with that over the last couple of games. No, absolutely something that needs to be corrected today. Those two depend so much on each other throughout a game McNeil and Harris and you know, I had a great conversation with Parker McNeil yesterday. Just so few opportunities remaining for him to play collegiate football. He is trying to make the most out of every single one. McNeil calling for the football. Looking right, throwing again, and he threw it into coverage. That one was intended for Nathan Jones, the tight end, and really tight coverage. So it's third and ten right now. This Middle Tennessee secondary is really active with interceptions. It's amazing what they've been able to do this season. You look back to the Miami game and early on a couple of picks. I believe the first two attempts by the Hurricanes they picked off. That made a big difference early. Third and ten from the 23 in the opening possession for the Bulldogs blitz coming. McNeil gets rid of it. It's tipped and goes awry. And uh, three really nice defensive efforts after actually two after the drop by Harris. And so Middle Tennessee quickly will get the ball back. And the drop by Harris is what set the stage there. You can't be at the sticks or behind on second and third. It limits your playbook so much. And Middle Tennessee knew what was coming, made a big difference 
over those second and third down plays. The punt is away. It's a tumbler and it's fair caught at the 43 yard line. And Middle Tennessee has advantageous starting position with its opening drive of the game. We'll get our first look at Chase Cunningham on the watch list for the Comeback Player of the Year award. Thrust into the starting role early last season, then went down with the torn ACL. Came back with a vengeance at the start of this year. He missed the last five games with that knee injury a year ago. Cunningham out of Knoxville and uh, a fake reverse to get things started. And Jalen Lane to the left side got a little bit. Lane with a pickup of about three on the fake reserve. A lot of people were in motion behind that line of scrimmage. Yeah, a lot going on there. And eventually you get it into the hands of your big time playmaker who made an amazing effort at the end of that UTEP game last week. Cunningham is chased, flushed out of the pocket, flag goes down, and the pass is broken up. Really nice defensive play by Davis, the outside linebacker, but there is a penalty marker down, most likely in the holding area. On the offense, number 64, 10 yard penalty from the previous spot, second down. Jackie Graham, the left tackle, who is considered the top pass protector on that offensive line, was called for being illegally affixed. Second down now. The line to make is the 47 in Louisiana Tech territory. Cunningham from the shotgun sends a man in motion. A fake jet handoff, and now this little pass comes to the other way for Pizant. Frank Pizant, second on the team in rushing last year, and uh, makes his 13th catch of the season before he's tackled by Brooks and some others. Pizant nearly 100 yards on the board last weekend. Yep. 20 carries, 96 on the ground. Didn't expect to play too much, but was thrust into service. Third down and eight. The long throw to the outside is broken up at the last moment. The pass slightly underthrown and broken up by Miles Brooks. The cornerback was beaten initially. He caught up Chris and uh, was able to make that play actually without turning around. Yeah, really nicely done where it just had to read the body there of Chisholm and able to knock it away coming off a season high four pass breakups last week at Florida International. This punt will be coming from one of the best kickers in the land in Kyle Ulbrich. Ulbrich making his 35th consecutive start as punter. Gets a booming line drive spiral kick away and it is returned by Harris. He gets to the 10 to the 11 maybe the 12 yard line. So a huge kick and a short return by Harris and Louisiana Tech will have it for the second time. Didn't hear a whistle. I didn't either. So he went off to the races until it was blown. We'll step aside and be right back. We are scoreless early in Ruston.